Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about photo props and backgrounds. I have a blog and also an Instagram which I take a lot of pictures on and through the years I've done different prop, used different props and backgrounds for my photos. So I thought I would give some ideas to use in your pictures from what I have found works well for me and what might work well for you. Some of these I don't actually have anymore or don't use anymore, however I found them to work really well. I will insert pictures of those because I don't have them or use them. Does that make sense? <laughs> First one is trays, dish and trinket. Are they called trinket trays? Trinket dishes? I'm not too sure. But they work really well in photos. I have three that I use. There's an Ikea tray dish, which I think might be a candle dish or something. And I like to use that a lot in my pictures. I think that's probably my most used. Because it's, you can layer it and you can put things on top in it, in front of it. And it just looks really nice. And it looks nice from above as well. It also adds a bit of detail because it has like a, a lace type thing around it. Which I think looks really nice in photos. And I have a tray that I've got from B&M, which is like a white wooden tray. And I don't always use it, but I have found that when I take pictures in it, I really like them. And I think it works really well for pictures because you can... I've seen people take really nice pictures like in their tray and with a nice layout. And the other is a trinket. Okay, so I'm back. I had to charge my camera because it died, which I wasn't expecting. It seems to die really quickly. But what I was saying was trinket dishes are good for videos, not videos, pictures. And I like to use my Zoella Lifestyle trinket dish. This is a recent purchase of mine, but I like to put like makeup things in it or if you're doing like a flat layer, I think this would look really nice in it. But yeah, I'm really want to use this more because I really like how it looks with the pink and the white and I feel like that goes very well with my photos. But just any trinket tray would look really nice. The next is fairy lights. By the way, if I keep looking down, it's because I've got my notes on my phone. Fairy lights are really good for videos. Video. Why do I keep saying videos? Are good for photos. They make, like, it look really nice. I like to use them in autumn and winter. But if you've got, like, gaps, you can fill them in with lights. I use just plain fairy lights, but I think nice lights which... I like stars or just something rose gold or maybe whatever you want to put in them would look really nice as well and they fill in gaps so lights fairy lights are good for photo um scarves are a really nice prop to add in photos i use mostly my misguided scarf which i've had for a really long time and i like to add it in photos in autumn and winter because or I wear it in autumn and winter. But I feel like pulling it in the corner of a photo or just using it as like a whole background would be good. And also if you're taking pictures of makeup products or things that are likely to roll away, then they won't. That would be a good prop. I like to put them in and then have like half and half. Mini pine cones are a really good prop. I have these mini pine cones that are from Garson's and I've had them for a couple of years. I'm not too sure if Garson's still have them. But anything like pine cones, leaves, autumnal, wintery stuff, or just summery stuff if you want to put them in in the summer. I like to use them in the autumn and winter. They fill in gaps really nicely. They are quite small, so they'd fill in smaller gaps. Although some are quite bigger, so you could fill in bigger gaps with them. Um, but they are a bit of like decoration to plain photos. As well. A complete background I use most of the time is marble. And marble has become a very popular background to have. I have actually DIY'd my own marble stuff. So I have a glass chopping board which I DIY'd marble. This sticky back plastic I got from Amazon. And it stayed really well and it works really well. I have a whiteboard which I don't use anymore. And the back is just like a grey wood. So I DIY'd marbled that. And I also have these placemats and coasters. Both are from Poundland. And these are also really nice backgrounds. It depends how much... I'm using depends on how what I use for it does that make sense so I use my glass chopping board for a lot of things and then I use these because they're not as big for like say I'm just taking pictures of like one or two things then these are good for that because they're not as big but I like to also use marble because it, the kind of because it kind of gives a bit of detail and it also brightens really well because I brighten my photos DIYing your own stuff is inexpensive. Those chopping boards are inexpensive. And boards, those placemats are inexpensive. And these coasters are inexpensive. So my next thing is coasters and placemats, which I've just spoken about. I did DIY my own coaster as well, marble, which it wasn't the best. So I'm really glad I have these because they're so much neater. I like to use 
coasters against a plain background so if i use the top of my desk and i just have a marble coaster with like one product on it or like one product on the coaster and then some others i think it looks really nice and very simple as well and what also looks really nice is placemats but half and half so i put half of the placemat in my photo and then the other half would be the background which is my top of my desk which is white so there's like half boxes are also a good background i like to use my ariana grande perfume boxes i have an ari just the ari perfume pink box which is a gift set box so it's quite big and it works really nice as a background to give my photos more color but any colourful boxes or just boxes in general would also be good to use as a background. And they'd also be good to use as a prop if you want to layer things. But I like how my Ariana Grande pink box looks. The next is just my background. So I have the top of my desk, which is all white, and the top of my chest of drawers, which is also all white. I like to use white backgrounds because they brighten well. And my theme on Instagram and what I find works best for me is... Um, very bright pictures so I like to whiten them brighten them and just have all white backgrounds and I also find it works very well for lots of colorful things because then you can see the product more if that makes any sense <laughs> they're just simple and I blue tack like my products down that are going to roll away and also I put things on them like the scarves and the dish tray whatever a background I don't use anymore is my old rug and it is a faux fur ikea rug i used to use it for pictures all the time but it took a lot of work and i don't have a lot of energy to keep brushing the rug and making sure there's nothing on it to take pictures on and just keeping up with it so i don't have that rug anymore and i don't use it for photos but it did look really nice in pictures and i used to like to have it as half and half and again products don't roll away on that it also used to edit really well when i edit my photos i used to like to put it on the back of my chair but like all over my chair so there would be that flat bit at the bottom and then the back and that created a really nice mm, it was a bird I thought it was gonna fly into the window and it also created a really nice background throws are really nice for photos again it's like the rug or scarf products and stuff don't roll away on it I have a cream throw which I like to use as my background I like to put my marble board on it so I can have the bottom bit which is the marble effect and then the back bit is my throw which is cream so it's easy to brighten and whiten. Like it works really well with my pictures. <laughs> the next is fake flowers. I have these fake flowers from Amazon which have gone off colour but I've had them for a few years and they used to look really nice in photos till they went off colour. They have the green stalk and then they used to be white but now they've gone a bit yellowy. But they are fake flowers and they look really nice especially in the spring and summer and they also make it a little bit colourful with the green, what's it called, a stalk? I don't know. But flake Fake flowers look really nice and you can get really inexpensive fake flowers. Wallpaper is also a really good background idea because I used to have my desk up against the wallpaper part of my room. It used to make it more colourful. I have a one flowery wallpaper in my room so it would make my photos a bit brighter and add like a different effect. The next is books. I used to use one book specifically for my photos, which I don't use anymore, is my Tanya Burr book. And I used to like to add this to my photos because it brightened well and edited well with my photos, but it also created layers. I used to like layering things. So you could put like products on the top and then products on, I used to put it on my chest of drawers on my desk and it would look really nice and I think books also fit really well in photos and add something else to it. And the last thing is stationery. Three stationery items I like to add to my photos are these three copper pots of stationery I got from Poundland and they were a pound each, funny enough because they're from Poundland. <laughs> but there's a pot of drawing pins and these kind of like clips, I'm not entirely sure what these are called, but these look really nice in photos. They're a bit bigger than the others, so they fill up more gaps. And the next is the copper paper clips. These look really nice in photos. I love how these look. And they fill in gaps and they look nice. They add a bit of colour if it's a plain photo. The stationery will look nice in photos. But those are my prop backgrounds. Those are my photo prop and background ideas. I've been talking for way too long. I can't even say words anymore. <laughs> um, those are my ideas that may help you. Even if it helps one of you, then this video is worth it. But I hope this helps. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.